guys, Urban Viking Hour with you. Three beers, all been off. Right. So, oh, just to let you know, all the three beers that I have done, I've had them in upright positions, they haven't been in the fridge, they've been sitting for 24 hours, all that business. Um, don't you start. So, anyway, um, I'm going to be trying one from the Obon Bay Brewery. Where's my glasses? Typical, one sec. Ah, right. The Open Bay Brewery. Uh, this is another one that Danny wanted me to review. Uh, so fucking drunk. It's the uh, Open Bay Skinny... No, actually, it wasn't Danny. What am I talking about? This beer is going to be dedicated to Tony. I'll put a link to his um, channel. Beer reviewer from the States. Really nice guy. Um, he's one of those reviewers that proper dissects the beer. You know, yeah, look into every single flavour and all that sort of stuff. And, you know, you get a real feel for the beer. It's almost like you're drinking it when you're watching them. Um, and uh, he wanted me to review this one. So this is for you, Tony. It's the Open Bay Skinny Blonde. Because he said he does like a skinny blonde now and again. So just don't let his missus hear that. Right. <laughs> right then, Blonde Ale. Our palest ale of all. 4.1% with lager-like nuances and colour. It has a pleasant and surprising fruitiness, along with citrus notes. For the true, what does it say? Sorry, they've it's, they've written black writing on brown. For the true lager lover, this is a must try out. Okay, and it comes in at four point one percent. So, skinny blonde, let's give it a go. Come on, please, be a beer that's not off. All right. Good, good, good. That's what I like to see. Look, like, it's pouring nice. Not too much carbonation. Um, almost filtered. There's like a slight sort of haze going through it. Um, nice little white head. Just looks really pretty in the glass. Let's give it a nose. Come on. That's better. Come on. This is a beer that's proper. You know. It's, oh god, it's such a relief. Right, although it says it's a lager type beer, I'm getting a lot of sweet malts on this one. Big, big bready notes. Um, almost like a, like a, a, what's that stuff called? The, the sorry, the malt loaf. Like a malt loaf uh, sweetness. Raisins and sultanas, that sort of smell. Yeah, definitely like a rye bread as well. Or in like a, a really nice sort of brown bread. Nothing like what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be more like a, a lager smell. But let's give it a go. Cheers, guys. Hmm. That's all right. Doesn't taste like a lager. Not at all. If they're advertising it as a lager, the uh, lager drinkers are going to be very disappointed. Mid-level carbonation. Some nice sort of sweet malts on the tongue, not too overpowering. Um, almost like a chestnut sort of flavour to it. Not my favourite flavour, as you'll know if you've seen my chestnut lager review. Um, not really much aftertaste either. Um, hold on a sec. This is June. Is that June? Ah. Oh. <laughs> you know what? So what? It's slightly out of date. January 2012. Well, actually, no. We're still in January, aren't we? So it's not too bad. Okay. Whether it's um, slightly aged a bit and it's supposed to taste like a lager, I don't know. It tastes more like a malt beer. There's not much of an aftertaste. Not a lot of carbonation, it's just a really smooth, easy drinking. Bit of sweet malt. It tastes like an atypical sort of um, beer you get in the pub, like a 
like a pub ale or something like that, you know, one that's a bit nondescript. There's not much going on with this one, that's all. Open base, open base, skinny blonde. I'm going to be harsh with my scores now because I've had some really impressive beers in the past, so I'm going to be a bit more direct. I'm going to give that a 5 out of 10 because there's not much going on. It's drinkable, but you know, water's drinkable as well. Yeah, there's not really much going on with that one. If you like your multi beers, sweet multi beers, that'd do ya. Don't expect anything powerful though. Um, but that's it really. So there you go. Cheers.